So comparing or ordering integers, uh, this is really important as we move into uh, figuring out how to add and subtract numbers, multiplying and dividing and all that stuff. So let's start off with opposites. If you have an opposite, it's just what uh, what is on the other side of zero in terms of the mathematical term. If I have two here, all I do is I think to myself, well, if I'm going two, well, I got to go here to get the zero, and then I go two more, and that's just going to be opposite. And it's pretty um, it's pretty easy most of the time here. Well, for opposites, it's easy all the time. All you do is you just go ahead and say, well, if it's got a negative sign, I'm changing it positive. If it has a if it has no sign, then it has a positive sign. We just don't see it. It's assumed to be positive. Then I just change it to a negative. So here, negative 5. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that right over here to positive 5. And we're done with those two problems. Now, absolute value is a little bit more complex. One of the things you really need to pay attention to is these this set of symbols. That set of symbols means go ahead and figure out how far away from zero it is. So if we have our point right here, negative two, how many spaces away from zero am I? Well, I got one, two spaces to get to zero. So the absolute value of negative two is just going to be two. Same thing over here, three. If I have three here, how many spaces do I get to get to zero? I go one space, two spaces, three spaces. So the absolute value is three. Is three. And absolute values are never negative because it always takes you, you always go a certain distance away from zero. It doesn't matter which direction you're heading. Now remember in terms of ordering integers, remember this says three is greater than one. That's that means three is greater than one and one with this symbol here is less than three. So just remember, sometimes people like to remember the smaller one eating the bigger one, um, or that the bigger one has a wider angle to it than the smaller one. The smaller one's pointed at. Whatever you want to do to remember it. So the numbers go up as you go further to the right on the number line. So the number here, that there, well, a number over here is going to be bigger, and it just keeps going. So here, and then the reverse is true. As you go left on the number line, the numbers get smaller. So all we do to order the numbers, order the following numbers on, on a number line from least to greatest, we just say, okay, well here I got zero. That's my first one. And I like to just cross them off. And here we have five. Here we have negative three. Here we have negative two. And here we just have plain old four. And then all I do is I read them off. Well, the first one is going to be negative three. That's the smallest number. Second one is going to be negative two. Second smallest number. Third smallest number, zero. Next smallest number is going to be four. And the last number of the bunch is going to be five. And we are done.